Um, I was picking on kids before. Has anybody here ever had any parents? <laughs> A couple of you. <laughs> I got great, I got the best parents, honestly. I won the lottery with my family. Honestly. I'm not talking about scratch-offs. I mean Powerball money, okay? <laughs> got the best ones. I really love my folks. My mom said she was put on this earth to be a mom. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I feel, I feel bad for her, but it's like pretty awesome to tell a son that. You know? I know all of her kids. You know? I'm the youngest of five in my family, okay? So my, we got disciplined. We actually, we got spanked growing up. I don't know if anybody here got spanked, but now we're stuck being good people. <laughs> Hey, they didn't hit us very often, because it works. <laughs> they always seem to be outdoing each other. If I got in trouble, my mom would be like, hey, little man, go to your room, wait for your father to get home, because I want him to watch this. <laughs> and they, I don't think she wanted credit. She wanted a pat on the back. I don't know what. <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't haul off and just hit you. You had to work your way up to it, you know? First, she'd yell at you, give you a verbal warning. My mom's favorite verbal warning was, boy, you got too many teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's gangster. I'm sorry, but that's gangster. <laughs> Not a dentist. She's offering her services, though, okay? The next thing she'd do, she would throw stuff at us, right? <laughs> like, nothing heavy, just like scissors and forks. And <laughs> Yard darts for the cat. <laughs> I find it fascinating we get all of our traits and characteristics from our parents. I think that's amazing. But I think it stinks that we didn't get to pick which traits we got. So, uh, that's not the hairline I would have picked. That's not the one I wanted, you know? If you saw my dad, my dad is bald, but he has so much hair coming out of his ears and his eyebrows. <laughs> he looks like a Pixar villain, this guy. I'm like, if that's what I have to look forward to, I'm gonna stop wearing my seatbelt. <laughs> I don't need that future. No, thank you. I got my mom's personality, which is awesome. My mom is the best. I love her so much. But that personality came with this dainty little move that I do all the time. I have no, this is involuntary. No control. I call it clutching the pearls. <laughs> Be watching YouTube like, is that a cat playing the piano? <laughs> Doesn't do anything for the ladies, does it? <laughs> Nothing sexy about a grown man who looks appalled. Like, <laughs> it's like, no grandkids, it's partly your fault, Mom. <laughs> I am simultaneously becoming my dad and my mom, you know? Like my dad, I think I, think I can beat Google Maps. Like my mom, I know it's gonna rain because my joints ache, you know? <laughs> Anybody else? It's amazing. I just wish I got other traits. Like, my dad's an engineer. You know, my mom's a history buff. She, she reads more than anyone that I know. You know, my brothers, I have three older brothers. They're six foot, six foot, and six four. They're greedy. I blame them for this adorable situation. Okay? Amazing. My sister, my sister's amazing. My sister's the nicest person. She is so nice, she makes you feel bad about yourself, which makes her a bad person. She's a paradox. I can't figure her out, actually. I love her, though. But it's right, I've got all these brothers and sisters, I got my folks. I have 10 nieces and nephews, and I am nobody's emergency contact. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. I mean, I get it. Like, put me on the dog's collar, give me something, right? I'm, 